Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another glorious day here in Orlando, Florida, in front of Hollywood Studios. I am going to go check out Hollywood Studios today. Um, I saw there was a new Alien Swirling Saucers Halloween Sipper, so I want to go check it out and pick one up for myself and maybe ride a ride. Uh, right now, I saw um, Aerosmith is only 15 minutes, so let's go ahead and go in there and uh, see what's going on in Hollywood Studios today. So it's a balmy 80 degrees already. It's October 2nd. It's a nice day though. I'm not gonna complain. At least it's not 90 yet. Beautiful sky with the palm trees. I love it. There's days I still can't believe I live here. So I forgot my magic band. So from what my understanding is I can use my Apple Watch, so let's see. Hopefully there's not some complicated process I have to do to make it work. Oh no. It is unlocked. I've never done this before. Alright, thank you. Alright, so it didn't pick up on my Apple Watch, but it worked on my iPhone. Alright, so I'm in. I'm gonna make my way to Aerosmith first before the line gets long. It was only about 15 minute wait when I checked. And I'm single rider, so maybe I'll go quicker. But I'm in. I love, I love when you first get through the, the turnstile or, I love when you first get in the park, you know, the first couple steps looking down Main Street, no matter what park it is, you know, the Tree of Life, the castle, the Chinese theater. They're all awesome. And Spaceship Earth. I didn't want to leave that caught out. Here's my favorite street in all of Disney property. Might have to drop into the tower. I know I haven't said it yet, but go O's. Today they're playing uh, the Kansas City Royals in the second game of the Wild Card Series. They lost yesterday, so hopefully today they do better. We just need to learn to hit. It's like we hit home runs, we win. We don't hit home runs, we lose. But I got faith. So in the five minutes it took me to get in the gate and walk back here, I'd say 10 minutes from my car to here. It's gone up, now it's 45 minutes. It was 15, now it's 45. That's crazy. So I just asked if there was a lot of single riders and the lady said no. There's nobody in the single rider line today. I love it. speed roller coaster type ride that includes sharp turns, upside down maneuvers, and sudden drops and stops. For your safety, you should be in good health and free from high blood pressure, heart, back, or neck problems. Science are away the morning 
that's always a fun ride, albeit intense. I think if it was any longer, I'd probably uh, puke all over myself, but I can do it. It's short, so I think it's only like a 30 second ride. Everything else is getting long now. Looks like, man, I can't go on Star Tours. Maybe Muppet Vision, I might walk over to Muppet Vision. That's always a good one to watch. And I was hoping to do the Tower of Terror, but that wait time went up too. So I don't know, I'm just gonna hang out. The food place is on open till 11 where I can get the sipper at, so let's just walk around. So the sippers are available at various places around the park, only in Hollywood Studios though. So I'm gonna go to Backlots Express because they have a snickerdoodle cookie. That's a Halloween exclusive I wanna try as well. So that is what I'm going to do. But like I said, they are available at different places. I think Backlot Express, I think the ABC Commissary, and a couple other different places. Um, yeah. They don't open until 11 though, so I'm still a little bit early. Not very busy here. Of course it is a Wednesday. Yeah, yeah it's a Wednesday, about 11 o'clock. So. Let's go check out Galaxy's Edge. You know I can't come to Hollywood Studios without going there. And in case you're curious, the Star Speeder 3000, it is all sold out now at the Tatooine Traders. So now your only option is to buy it on eBay or from basically somebody that's already bought it to resell. They lasted about a week, I think. We got Goofy and Max out this morning. Rise of the resistance wait time is only 35 minutes. That's still pushing it. <laughs> I'm spoiled as a local. We got Mando and Grogu out this morning. He comes out at a random time, so people line up to see him. But sometimes you get lucky and just catch him walking around. So you can touch Mando apparently, but you can't touch Grogu. The attendant just told somebody don't touch Grogu as she was giving Mando a hug. And I forgot my magic band, so I'll be not bounty hunting. There'll be no bounty hunting today. So I was told Doc Honors has some new items. They have a Sabine Wren helmet, and they have a Darth Vader new figure that lights up. The lightsaber does. Oh, you are. I was just blocking. There's Sabine Wren. And that must be the new Darth Vader. It's by far the quietest I've seen it in here in a long time. No new lightsabers. All right, so I'm gonna go ride the Millennium Falcon. Single rider line, of course. She said there's only been three that's walked past her since she's been here, so maybe this will be quick. It's only a 25 minute wait right now. Standby. It's nice and air-conditioned in here. I don't 
don't know where to go. I've never done this. They had like two openings. Hopefully I chose the right one. Thank <laughs> you. 
Galaxia. This will greatly help the resistance. You have heard the first order and made Chewie proud. Now after my modest profit, your god minus what you owe for damaging the Falcon is... Hey, not bad. So if you want to get a good picture with the Millennium Falcon, everybody always goes like over there where as soon as you walk in you see it. But if you go to the other side, there's nobody over here. And a lot of times you can get a clear shot of the Millennium Falcon without people in the background. But speaking of the Millennium Falcon, as far as the ride goes for the Millennium Falcon, if you're not the pilot, I think engineer is the best one because the button only lights up a few times during the ride and you can actually watch like the front screen. I feel like when you're a gunner, you have to constantly keep pushing the button and paying attention to it. So if I'm not the pilot, I like being an engineer, but opinions will vary. You know, everybody has their favorites, but that's just my two cents. Have our Yum Num Mug and then our Loath Cat. The Loath Cat. Yeah, the Loath Cat, available purchase. So this is oh guys, just came in to get the lock cat. And now I'm out. Step forward! Oh, scoot forward in your case. If you could just throttle down on the speed though for safety. Thank you. Yes, all the way. You can remain in the shade hollow out that. All the way! And Rise of the Resistance is down. <laughs> Guess I should have took advantage of it. It was only 30 minutes, 35 minutes. Oh well. Now I'm gonna go to Backlog Express, get my sipper and my pumpkin snickerdoodle, and then probably call it a day. Normally I would uh, mobile order, but I'm seeing if I can ask if I can just get the sipper without putting the pop in it. I don't know how that works with the sippers. I've never gotten one before. So here is the Alien Buzz Lightyear Halloween Sipper. He's a cute little guy. And if you're wondering, because I was, They'll actually give you like another cup to put it in so you don't have to put a, your drink in the actual sipper. And then here is the pumpkin patch. Let me make sure. The pumpkin patch cookie. And this is, hold on. A pumpkin the pumpkin patch cookie is a pumpkin spice snickerdoodle topped with pumpkin spice buttercream and pumpkin candies. Snickerdoodles is one of my favorite cookies, so I'm excited for it. It's good. Tastes like a snickerdoodle. It's not too pumpkin-y. I was kind of worried about that, but it was good. I'd get it again. I'd get it again. I like it. Look at how nice and fluffy that cookie is. So chewy and moist. Mmm. Well, now that I got my sipper, I don't really feel like carrying it around the parks now, so. I think I'm going to call it. I got my cookie, I got my sipper, I got to ride a ride, walk around Gal Galaxy's Edge, so it was a good day. Like, I love being a local. I love being able to pop in and pop out, you know, on a whim, so I don't feel guilty when I only spend a couple hours here, and I don't feel the need to spend all day, so if you hung out with me today, if you made it this far, hey, I appreciate you guys, so hope you guys all have a great day, and I will talk to you later. Bye.